Our story begins in America in 1929. Anne Parrish and her husband leave for a vacation to Paris. Once there, they visit the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Bird Market. After lunch one day at De Majot, Anne wanders off alone for a while and walks into a bookstore. There she sees a copy of her favourite childhood book, Jack Frost and Other Stories, and buys it on the spot. Later she shows it to her husband and opens it to the first page, which has a note obviously written by a child. It reads, Anne Parrish, 209 North Weber Street, Colorado Springs. Yes, it's the very same copy that belonged to Anne many years ago. What are the chances that a book, having started in the United States, would end up in Paris and then be found by its original owner? Could it possibly be just a coincidence? It'd be easy to assume that the probability of such an event happening is almost zero. But one person who wasn't satisfied with making assumptions was American mathematics professor Joseph Mazur. He researched the incident in detail, both historically and mathematically, and came up with an interesting conclusion. Mazur's investigation was helped by the fact that Anne Parrish was herself a well-known children's book writer, so he could easily get information about her life and family connections. Among the facts he uncovered, Parrish's mother was a close friend of Mary Cassatt, a famous painter who moved to Paris, so it's likely that this is how the book ended up across the Atlantic. Parrish's husband was a wealthy businessman, and the couple visited Paris quite frequently. Mary Cassatt died in 1926, at which point it seems probable the book came into the possession of a bookseller. Parrish came with her husband to Paris in 1929, and being a writer, naturally tended to visit bookstores there, especially those selling English books. At that time, there were only two bookstores in Parrish which sold English books. Having seen her favourite childhood book, it would be natural for her to buy it. According to Mazur's calculations, the probability of the event happening was 1 in 3,331, odds that are far from being incredible. In fact, as Mazur points out, the probability of getting four aces in poker, 1 in 4,164, is less than Parrish's chances of finding her book. What can we learn from this? Simply that when we know all the details surrounding an event, or chain of events, the chances of it happening might turn out to be a lot greater than what we initially assumed. Mm -hmm.